Welcome back, everyone. It is your man, Matty Ice, back here with another video. And, uh, sorry for not doing... <laughs> so, there was a couple weeks where I was up to date with, uh, do my weekly review series. But, now uh, I kind of fell off because I dealt with some personal stuff and just some sicknesses. And, which I'm still kind of sick. I don't know if you guys can hear. I'm still kind of sick, but I'm feeling better now. So, I thought I kind of pick it back up again. And, uh, so, uh, today I want to talk, to talk about the original Caveman Rider. And, uh, so I, I read this when I was sick, and, uh, I picked this up for Barnes & Noble, because I heard so much about, came, you know, about the Cayman Rider series, and so I'm like, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right, <laughs> like, I, like, I'm definitely hoping I'm pronouncing that right, but, that the original manga was written by Sir Taro Izanomori, and, it came out in 1971, or it started to come out in 1971. If I remember correctly, it took a couple of years, like, you know, like, so this one took a couple of years, if I remember correctly. But it follows a guy named Hongo, who, like, he was doing some type of experiment, and he got into a really bad uh, accident, because that someone took him out, and, 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 like, he wakes up, the like, in this laboratory, and that uh, he found out by... By these people that work for this company called Saku, and that pretty much that they turn people into cyborgs, and that he finds out that like they're actually evil, that this is actually an evil organization that they make it cyborg so that they can take over the world and like have every single person in their control, and to, and to be honest. But I picked this up because I was like, oh, I love cheesy action, cheesy, you know, like those old school cheesy shows and, and movies and manga. And this kind of fit right into that classic cheesy manga with its action. Because obviously the plot itself is very simple. Obviously he, he escapes and now his one mission is to defeat Saku from taking over the world. And I really love some of these monsters and, and like these creatures that we had in it. And it was just fun to see because it, it reminds me of some of those older series, of like these older series like Ultraman or, you know, the original Star Trek. And like, you know, like it, it just reminds me of so many things. And so I loved it because of that. Just because, like, it, 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 like, it just has that charm to it. And. Just the whole story was great, like, well, not great, like, you know, like, I, like, I think the story is a little bit of the weak point, except there was points, you know, like, even now that this was, again, like, a 70s manga, this is, like, an early 70s manga, that kind of had, you know, like, had that cheesy element to it, and, and, like, the story, it was okay, I mean, like, very basic 70s story, but that there was a couple things that the did that I did not like, like, they killed, like, the, uh, replaced Hongo with, uh, with this guy named Hayato, who was a reporter, who was taken over by Saku, but, like, like, that I didn't, like, I kind of wish that we stuck with Hongo the whole time, just because I feel like, like, with him dying, or dying, I should say, with him dying, and then, uh, like halfway through the story, and like now we get this new character. It's like, like I kind of found it tough to like relate or tough to like go for these characters or feel emotion for these characters, just because there wasn't enough. Like at least for me, there wasn't enough for me. There, you go. and like same with like s like some of the action scenes. Like there was a couple of the action scenes that it kind of just skipped over a few things. And, like, I don't know if that was intentional or unintentional or they forgot. But, like, there was a couple of points. I was like, that doesn't make sense. And, like, you know, so, so I thought there was none of the paints, but there wasn't, like, you know, so, so I thought, but, but, like, those were really my only complaints. It's like, the story wasn't as fleshed out as it could have been, I feel like, just because I didn't really care for these characters too much. And... Yeah, that's about it. Like, this can be a quick review, but... But, the art, it's just, like, I think this is kind of... Like, at least for me, I was intrigued a little bit. Was the art and some of these character designs and... 
seeing Kamen Rider and seeing all these villains he fought. Like, I really enjoyed the art. And again, like, it's very 70s art style, which I love. Like, like I'm a big fan of, like, that old school art style. If you've ever seen my other reviews. Like, you know, so, so I, I like going back and checking out a lot of these series. But, like, as a whole, I'm going to give uh, the original Kamen Rider a 6.5. Just because, again, like, the story, I feel like they could have... Like, like, I think he could have done a little bit more of the story... Fresh out Hongo, like fresh out all these other characters because that, like with him there was the scientist that helped him out, and then, uh, the and and then the daughter of another scientist who died in the beginning of the book, and, and yeah, that's my biggest complaint. It's just like he didn't fresh like these characters like that. These characters I feel could have been a lot better, or like or like kind of had that character development that they never had. Because, again, like, halfway through, the like, the book, like, the series, that they, uh, switched the main character. And, like, even after they switched the main character, I was like, why? Because it's, like, I was just starting to like Hongo, and I was just starting to connect him to a little bit. So, so I feel like, w- w- with his death, that, like, they could have done a better job with that. And, like, maybe wait until the end of the series to be like, hey, like, kill him off, and then... Like, introduce the next Kamen Rider. Cause, like, I know that this is a longer series. Like, there's a bunch of different Kamen Riders. Like, throughout the history of this franchise. So, that's my one complaint. And then, again, like, also my other complaint is... Like, some of the accent scenes. Like, that some of the accent scenes didn't make too much sense. But, that's about it. But the artwork was great. But, again, so, six and a half out of ten. It's not a bad score. It's just, like, I feel like it was enjoyable for what it was... Which is like an old 70s, che- you know, like an old uh, cheesy 70s series. But it's just not the best cheesy series I've read. Seriously, I'm typically a man for cheese and like that type of thing. But like, I feel like for like all of the cheesy stuff they had there, it just didn't pan out the way I thought it would. Or like the way I hoped it would. So that's why I'm giving it the six and a half. And until next time, it's your boy, Matty Ice.